Okay, so Geek Week on Math Jacks continues. This is video two. And in video two, we're going to talk about changing the Math Jacks configuration. So most of the time when you are using math, um, you can just you know, if the whatever thing that you're using that's creating your HTML, as long as it's loading MathJax, um, it's probably just going to work fine. But if you need to um, add equation numbers, you're going to need to change the configuration because by default, MathJax does not show the equation numbers. So. Um, here in this example you can see I've got these equation numbers. So let's talk through how you change the MathJax configuration so that your numbers show up. Okay, so here I'm going to show um, this is um, the JavaScript. This is the JavaScript that is added for MathJax version 3. You know, very clear it's which version it, it is. It's version 3. Uh, in video 1 I talked about that there are two versions that you'll find out there a lot. So there's 2.7, it's like 5 years old, but it's still all over the place. And then there's uh, MathJax 3, it's the uh, current one. And they have totally different configuration. So this configuration would not work at all for 2.7. It wouldn't do a thing. So that's why in video one, I said you need to figure out what version of MathJax you have. And then if you don't have three, you need to get three loaded. Um, and after you get three loaded, then you can use this configuration to add your numbers. Um, OK. So this is the configuration to add numbers. And all you need to do is figure out how you're going to get that in the header of your HTML file. And you want to have it right before the MathJax 3 library is being loaded. So how do you do that? Well, it's going to depend on whatever sort of system you're using that's creating your HTML. I'm talking about, you know, the R system, so I'm talking about Quarto. I'm going to be talking about Quarto and R Markdown. If you're listening to this and you're in the Python world, Sphinx is going to be kind of the same thing. So, whatever system you're using, it's going to have a way for you to add things to the header of the HTML. That's what you're looking for. How to add something to the header? You got to add that uh, configuration script to the header. In our markdown, you do that by, um, so here's the format HTML, and then here's the bit. It includes in header. And I just, um, it takes a file. It won't take text. You have to, you have to give it a file. It's kind of weird that way. Um, so I just give it the file that I want it to load. So I'm going to talk about four in the next video, but you know, three, I could just do this. And that would get my um, get my equation numbers. So uh, one other bit, um, I did say that you'd need to check the version of MathJax. It happens to be the case that our Markdown is using 2.7 templater, but fortunately they allow you to specify a different Java a MathJax library. And so what I did is you just say MathJax and you give it the library you want to load. So this is the um, the three. So I just add that, and now I've got my equation numbers.